Hey, my name is Kathy Campbell and I'm, an, I'm a registered nurse. I was teaching the certified nursing assistant class and then we brought iBEST into it, which and for our class, our goal was to have prepare the students not just for the pass the certified nursing assistant exam, but to integrate the basic skills that they would need to go on um, to be an RN or LVN. And it would also make them, if they didn't plan on going on, a better CNA, but it was to prepare them for a TEAS test. The TEAS test in our um, nursing programs for the RN and LVN is the test of essential academic skills, and it's a standardized test that encompasses more like the um, SAT test or the California high, California high School exam, has math, it has reading, it has language, and it has a science component to it. So in our class, the way we would set it up, we, there were two teachers, and one was the basic skills teacher and one was the, um, the, the nursing teacher. And generally, there'd be a short nursing lecture. Um, we couldn't get away from that, although maybe if we did it longer, we could figure out a way. And then we try to break up the class as much as we can. I had nursing skills to teach. Basic skills would um, prepare them in the basic skills. We tried to um, integrate it with whatever we were doing. So if we were doing documentation, they would do writing. And they'd certainly do a lot more writing with the, in, with the basic skills teacher than I ever taught in the class, even though it's still a part of the um, a component of the class. That didn't change. We would do more math than we've ever done. And the lower level math, and then going on to the higher level math, which they would need as an RN or LVM, but not necessarily as a CNA. Um, and that would prepare them to be, to prepare them for the T's test. What was nice about having the math teacher and the, um, and me in there, or the other nursing teacher was, we could, why do you need this algebra? And we could just rattle off quick examples that they would have to figure out how many mics per kilo per minute, and they needed algebra to do that. Um, so I think that just validated the need not only to pass the TEAS test, but yes, they may be using this math when they're in those different levels. So I was only a teacher for a short while, and I think most vocational or career tech teachers, their background is not teaching. So I think a benefit of the IBEST was also to have a, a, a regular teacher come in, basic skills, and we learned from them really to how to teach and how to wait on questions and how to put people in small groups and how to, I would have never thought of arranging people by, we did an assessment, but who's good in math and who's not good in math and they sat next to each other. It might seem like common sense, but all the tricks of the trades you learn a little bit more from those uh, iBest teachers.